In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Prusa Mini Plus here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and welcome to this video. Like mentioned in the intro, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can assemble the Prusa Mini Plus doing the first things that you need to do before you can get your first prints out of the Prusa Mini. And let's be honest, we don't want to watch a live stream for more than two, three hours to see how the Prusa Mini is built if you encounter some issues. So let's stop the chit chat and let's get into the video. So once the box is open, you will find some sweets. You will find the test sheet, power supply, filament runout sensor, some cleaning, some PLA, some wires, some grease, a cheat sheet, some stickers, the assembly manual, some bearings, PEI sheets, also some accessories to assemble everything, the display and the base, and also the X and Z axis, and also a power supply. So let's build it. So to attach the X and Z axis together, we have a M3 times 40 screw one time, one M3 times 20 screw and one M3 times 12 screw needed. So that is one thing to be sure of. There are two M3 times 20 screws in there. So leave the other one on the side. You can use also the uh, cheat sheet, but I use the caliper to measure the length of the screws. So the first thing that you need to do is add some foam pads to the base. In this video, you see that I will put them on the metal frame parts instead of the plastic parts. It looks so obvious, but put them on the aluminum extrusions, not on the plastic. Also put one of the foam pads on the bottom of the X, Z axis. Then they take the cover off, making sure that the ribbon cable can go on the side and then connect it to the controller board. Put and wrap the ribbon cable around the controller box. Then we are going to connect the whole part together to the Y axis uh, bed frame, making sure that the screws are aligned. Take the M3 times 40 on the most right side of the controller box and use the second, the M3 times 20 screw for the left side. On the inside from the frame, there is a stepper motor wire. That wire goes through the controller box into the controller board. You'll find in your manual where you exactly need to put it. And then you are going to push the whole assembly to the back. There's a notch that will prevent you from sliding it off. If that is done, you are going to tighten the two screws, the M3 times 40 and the M3 times 20. And then as last, the M3 times 12 is going on top of it. Once that is done, you are going to assemble the LCD screen to the frame and put the ribbon cable to the LCD. Once that is done, you are going to hook up the, the heat bed. First the wires from the heat bed and then the thermistor. And finally, we are going to attach the filament run out sensor. On the controller board, there is also a connector put it in there. And then also connect the filament run out sensor to the P PTFA tube, then closing the box. It's a fairly job. It comes in two parts. Make sure that the wires are going in the correct way. Once the Prusa Mini is assembled, now we are going to also assemble the filament spool holder. It's really a holder which goes with four bearings, two slides. So it's a very easy thing to assemble together. Uh, make sure that it has the same width as your spool so that it runs smoothly. Also, make sure to put those foam pads on it so that your filament uh, spool holder is not running away. So I choose here for the smooth PEI sheet to start my first print on. So after that is done, run the calibration so there are some really nice features in this 
uh, startup or this start wizard it will run you all the way through from the uh, self test till the first layer wizard and here is also a very quick time lapse of printing my first nut and i don't need to say that the print looked very amazing i was ha very happy with the result so after this nut that i printed i printed several other things and i do need to say that everything that i printed after this came out very nicely and very smoothly this video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Roy Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixin' Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams and YJ. Thank you for your support. And also welcome to a brand new subscriber, James Woodland. Thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel. And also a shout out to the person who commented me the last on one of my videos and it is Jeremy W. He is asking about printing on the edges of, I think, the Ethelson QQS Pro. Well, I'm going to get back to you because if you're printing on the edges, one of the things that can be that the temperature is a little bit lower than in the middle or sometimes because the bed is not clean or maybe not well enough leveled. If you really want to print on the edges of that Delta printer, make sure that it is clean. Make sure that everywhere is the same temperature. Make sure that the bed leveling is also well done with your auto bed leveling sensor. So those are the three things where you can look at. And I'm going to answer your question in a few days. If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. Thank you for that. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And we will see each other next time. Peace. Bye-bye.